Hey there, my awesome, amazing Capricorns. This is Kelly from Moon Pie Tarot. Getting ready to do your next 10 days love reading. Love in general. Um, if you want to get a personal reading for me, there's a link in the description box below this video. Please join me on Saturday, January 15th, 11 a.m. If you would like to get a mini personal paid reading with me, I'll be live at that time. Eastern Standard Time, 11 a.m. Eastern Standard. Um, all right, you guys, let's get started and see what your messages are. Please do hit like, share, and subscribe if you enjoy this channel and these readings that I offer. And I hope you are all doing well and enjoying your birthday. All right, let's take a look here. What is going on for Capricorn? Oh, spying online. All right, Capricorn, somebody's watching you. Oh, yeah, somebody's watching you online. They get their eye on you. They want to see what you're up to. What you're doing, who you're talking with, could be a job spying on you to see <laughs> what you're doing on social media. So that might be a warning for some of you. Let's see. Okay. Future plans, choosing a path. All right. So some of you are making a job change. Okay. Um, applying for jobs. I do feel like this is a warning for you to make sure that whatever you have online post on social media if this is like a really important job that you um, make everything private just in case I'm just getting this energy just in case just be careful okay but you're definitely making some plans here you could be choosing a new relationship leaving a relationship choosing a different path in your life at this time but somebody's watching you definitely have somebody watching you look at this spying and deception that's twice Capricorn oh my gosh somebody is watching from behind the scenes they are not really saying anything they're doing it like in a very deceptive way um, hmm you could if you're on no so when I say spying online okay somebody could be doing a background check on you um, for others you could be on social media and this is for those of you who are um, be careful of the friend requests that you approve um, just, I just feel like for the next 10 days, just go completely private if you haven't done so yet. And just watch out for um, people who are showing up in your DMs or your friend requests and things like that. Um, somebody is doing a background check. This could be a company. Um, it could be a bank. <laughs> um, I don't know really what the deception part is. I feel like... Oh, they just said, make sure that you change your passwords, re -change, change up all your passwords right now. Redo everything with those passwords at this time. Okay. Oh, so interesting. Okay. Moving to a safe place. All right. Some of you might've been in a situation that was not a secure situation and are actually relocating or physically moving, um, getting out of, um, a situation getting away from a person place or a thing that made you feel um, just gave you like bad juju or something that made you feel like it wasn't safe to stay where you are anymore okay um, so maybe you're relocating or you're I just see movement away from something that was just not good somebody's watching this watching you um, you could be having like a mortgage company doing a background check um, because you're trying to move. Um, they might not. There's somebody in. Okay, they just gave me. There's somebody in like um, like a company or um, like a bank or something who's like they're, they're spying with the researching or they're looking you up. Um, but there's a little something tricky about this. Okay. In other words, is it, there might be um, a legality attached to this. Somebody might be doing or looking you up or doing something illegal. I don't really know what exactly that is. I don't, I don't work on in, in that industry fully, so I don't really understand what that might be. But if that resonates for you, that might be your message. You also have Cupid's arrows and love messages and travel. So that feels more on the love front. There's somebody is going to be reaching out to you, connecting with you, um, sending you love messages or some type of communication. There may be an offer to travel. Um, hmm. This kind of feels to me like um, an eight of wands energy where um, 
this is like a, a quick change like some news is coming in for you that's kind of it's just out of the blue it's just a fast reply to something um, so if you were messaging somebody and you haven't heard back I feel like you're all of a sudden now you're just boom messages coming like non-stop with somebody from somebody okay um, Cupid's arrows this is definitely like a love bombing kind of energy it might be a little ism happening there I don't know if that's somebody you were current you were dealing with in the past you're trying to get away from that energy feels like it's coming towards you okay there's definitely good news about money so if this was something to do with um, purchasing an item and you needed like a credit check or somebody's doing a background check I feel like you're gonna get approved for something here Hmm. Okay. Um, this this is more like um, this feels more like um, communication coming in about that. Okay. Um, so you get a letter or your phone call or you'll get like a, an approval letter coming in um, for some of you. Uh, hold on a minute. Mm -hmm. um, for some of you, it's a, a new job. Um, some of you are going to get um, a raise or um, more money in your your pay. Whether you do a weekly thing or you you know you you get approved for some kind of a sale. Okay. All right. Some of you are going to get like an approval or a loan um, to go to school. Okay. If you're making plans to go back to school, you, the lusty, fiery spirit is also here. So this is very night of one energy. Somebody's coming in with like a real strong, passionate energy. I feel like this is, it could be related to somebody from your past, but the lusty, fiery energy, this could be um, air energy, or I'm sorry, fire energy, <laughs> Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So this is somebody who is like, real free spirited i mean i feel like somebody here really wants to have a physical connection with you somebody's coming in really fast like blazing a trail coming towards you here it's really interesting i don't understand i don't it's something i don't understand it could be if you're trying to get away from a relationship or you're moving or relocating or um somebody's watching you uh, you're making plans you're choosing new paths in your life here there's definitely, I don't know if this is someone you're getting away from or somebody new coming in, um, but there's definitely going to be somebody's traveling to come see you or to connect with you. I mean, this person is like, like infatuated with you. I don't know who this is. This could be somebody new for some of you, but this is like love, 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 love. Somebody just wants to love, love, love on you, Capricorn. Okay. So you have heart with a key. Welcoming love, meeting the one, opening your heart, getting together. Perfect. I feel like somebody here is coming in with a key to unlock your heart. Are they going to try to do that? And they're going to try. Some of you are like, nope, not going back to the past, trying to get away from that. But others of you are like, wow, this could be somebody new coming in. Or this is someone that you're just um, trying to relocate with someone. Um, somebody might be coming in in a sense where they um, they might be saying they want to move in with you or they want to give you some money to try to purchase an item um, it's something to like part with a key is like it could be a key to a home okay um, a new key to a home or apartment or somebody gives you a key to their place um, There's definitely an energy here. Someone wants to open your heart. Uh, okay, the thing is, this could be about marriage or building together, teamwork, collaboration. So the thing is, I, I, I'm not really, it's not telling me that it's necessarily someone from your past and it's not necessarily telling me it's somebody new. But it, I will say, that it is a fire sign now this could be um fire in the sense where it's aries leo sagittarius it could be mars energy that mars passion it could also be scorpio if you're connecting with the scorpio or you could be meeting this person hand of cards take a chance a risk being strategic options not showing your hand gambling hmm 
Capricorn, I don't know what you have going on specifically in your life here, but there's definitely somebody or, or a person, place, or thing who's got their eye on you. Let's see what your charm is. Okay, beautiful. You've got the, you know, I was going to say that's a butterfly. It kind of looks like a moth. This looks more like a moth. Hmm. This feels like, um, like a moth to a flame kind of energy. This feels mostly like somebody is just so drawn to you or will be showing up in the next 10 days, so drawn to you. Um, I don't know who it is, but they've been watching you. They've got their eye on you. They're definitely trying to make some kind of connection or they will. Um, a lot of you are making plans. You're choosing a new path in your life and that is opening up a whole new world in front of you. Okay, where you might be currently speaking with someone. This could be your past coming back and trying to connect with you, but this could also be somebody new coming in and you'll just have to wait and see how that plays out. Let me just ask real quick if, um, if this is a past person or if it's new, who is this? Let's just ask, who is this person? Who is Capricorn's person that's coming in? Okay. So you've got the Six of Swords in the reverse. This is someone who has not moved on or is not um, ready to let you move on. Okay. So this feels like it's definitely a past type of an energy, a past person. Okay. Um, hmm. That's interesting. I feel like this person has, if you have been moving away from this person, I don't, I don't feel like they, they have fully moved away from you. So you may be hearing from them again. I definitely feel like they're watching you some, somehow, some way. And I don't know, you, some of you might have somebody blocked on social media. You might not even be on social media, but there's definitely an energy here of, um, they somehow are getting a hold of you or they can see you in some way. And it's like, well, what are you going to do? You know what I mean? Like short of just disappearing off the face of the earth, you know, what are you going to do? <laughs> it's so easy to find people online. You know what I mean? It's like, as long as you're alive, people are, people are going to somehow like your presence is going to be there. You can bring it down to like a complete, like one percent of being seen but somebody through it could be like indirect or by proxy somebody is definitely here not willing to let you go not wanting to move on i feel like somebody's um they're watching you move on they're watching you moving to um, a better position in your life um the hand of cards is saying here basically what i was saying don't reveal your cards keep your cards close to your chest for some reason i feel the strongest message for you in the next 10 days is this is something you need to do you can't let one hand know what the other hand's doing okay i don't know exactly why <clears throat> but if you need to move to a safer place um, whether that's spiritually mentally physically or emotionally then you need to keep that within you okay you need to like keep all your moves build in silence for some reason um because i feel actually i feel like the more you are um pulling away hold on sorry i have the sneezles the more you are pulling away and actually the more disappearing the more like if you have like that disappearing act going on the more you're doing that the more it's actually piquing somebody's curiosity and drawing them closer to you if that's something you're trying to do um okay well it's working if that's not something you're trying to do and you're just trying to like live your life and be in a better place well that's happening it's happening anyway <laughs> all right capricorn so i'm gonna leave your message there here again join me on saturday um january 15th i'm, I'm gonna be back every saturday 11 a.m to 1 p.m to do eastern standard time to do your um personal paid readings like we used to do in the past i am back with a force here so i'm gonna leave your message there just remember you've got this moth here so it's like a moth to a flame it feels to me like no matter what you do somebody is just more and more drawn to you each time and wants to come in and they're hot for you <laughs> it's totally hot for you i don't know what to tell you all right i'll talk to you guys later okay bye